uh, maybe you could critique my approach, but I feel like when I chat with a lot of people, there's always diet stuff, you know, but it, it almost seems like if they're talking to me, it's like past the point of no return with, with dietary intervention. Is that a, a bad orientation to have? Because usually they'll have labs as well. And, and I think the, it, the person will generally be kind of at the end of the road. They'll have tried veganism or low carb or carnivore or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm almost inclined to suggest the, the vitamin D to, to re read hypothyroidism to unsuspected illness to get into thyroid and stuff because, and, and of course doing the dietary interventions, but I, I don't know, could you say after 20 or 25 that a, a person is like, I mean, I'm sure you could say earlier, but that it's, it's very hard to get the metabolic rate going just with food alone. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, almost everyone benefits from uh, uh, adding a little bit of thyroid. Uh, the human diet historically uh, probably uh, always included uh, some uh, supplemental animal thyroid, whether it came from uh, a chicken stew or, or uh, a fish soup uh, or sausages or, or, or even blood. Uh, there was always some uh, supplement coming from their food. Uh, and uh, since 1940, that has been uh, uh, legally uh, banned from the American food supply and pretty much other uh, industrialized countries imitating the U.S., uh, requiring slaughterhouses to uh, take out the thyroid glands. Uh, and uh, uh, people uh, uh, generally just don't eat the blood. Uh, it's sort of a, a taboo. Uh, 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 while uh, countries that uh, save the blood and, and make tacos out of it or something are, are getting a little bit of uh, extra hormones of various types. Uh, something I've noticed, and I, I don't know if, uh, if, you, if you feel the same, but there's something about thyroid that a lot of people don't feel comfortable with. Like they'll take progesterone or DHEA or pregnenolone, or, or they'll even be taking other supplements like ashwagandha or rhodiola or they just you name it. But thyroid is like a lot a crossing the line to a lot of people. Is there? Uh, Go ahead. I, I, I think the drug companies and the doctors that have been educated under their influence are, are responsible for that. Uh, uh, the, the same thing that caused the uh, agriculture department to uh, order slaughterhouses uh, to remove it from the food supply. Uh, 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 Broda Barnes uh, tells uh, some of the stories, for example, in the 1930s, uh, he uh, observed that uh, thyroid deficiency, uh, among other things, uh, caused an extremely high rate of heart attacks and, and uh, circulatory disease, uh, uh, infectious diseases, circulatory diseases, and, and cancer were the, uh, the main killers in a hypothyroid population. But uh, when he started popularizing that, uh, there was a reaction, uh, and JAMA uh, published a story uh, about a, a doctor who had uh, given a patient who had just suffered a massive heart attack a supplement of, I think, two grains uh, of armor thyroid starting uh, right off uh, on a full standard uh, dose uh, rather than working into it uh, over a period of weeks, uh, and, and the patient died. Uh, and, and so that uh, created the propaganda uh, that natural thyroid could kill you with a heart attack. <laughs> uh, and uh, that sort of thing was amplified uh, when uh, the Synthroid, uh, I think, was the first one on the market with a synthetic uh, a thyroxin product. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was in uh, junior high uh, around that time, uh, and uh, uh, there were several fat kids, uh, and uh, 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 most of the kids already at that time uh, were seeing doctors regularly, uh, and almost simultaneously, two or three of my fat friends uh, said that, uh, that they didn't have a hormone problem, they were just gluttons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that had been uh, taught to the doctors who taught it to their their overweight patients. Uh, and uh, that went with uh, doctors uh, ordering their patients uh, to stop taking thyroid if 
if an old empirical doctor had recognized that uh, uh, people with chronic infections or obesity or uh, any of the uh, 30 or so uh, classical uh, symptoms of hypothyroid, uh, if <clears throat> people had been doing well uh, taking armor thyroid, uh, uh, they went to the uh, modern uh, update, uh, uh, the, the well-trained uh, doctors told them to stop taking it because it was was dangerous. 